What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Madden 20 franchise gameplay. We're here in the NFC Championship round with our Washington Redskins matched up against the defending Super Bowl champion Minnesota Vikings. So our Redskins team, we're coming off of a pretty big win last week in the divisional round up against our divisional rivals, the Philadelphia Eagles. The defense, outstanding. I, can, I couldn't have asked my defense to play any better than what they played in that divisional round. Offense, yeah, we got some work to do. The offense definitely struggled in that game against the e the Philadelphia Eagles. Um, some things we could definitely got to clean up. Probably got to start looking more to our superstar receiver, Emmanuel Hall. I don't think I did that enough, but we're gonna work on that. Uh, in this in our in our, in our conference or yeah in our conference game here with the uh, Minnesota Vikings. So. In my scout, in my pregame scouting and watching their um, the Minnesota Vikings division around, there's definitely a few players on this team we got to be cautious of. The first one, Dalvin Cook. Dalvin Cook is deceptively fast. Like he's he's a lot faster than what he looks. Um, and he, my opponent, he has like some like swerve that. He, I have no idea. Like he just when he swerves with uh, Dalvin Cook, he's gone. Like I, I I don't understand it. Like he he swerves so perfectly. Um, right here, our defense gets a, a nice little stop, forces a punt, and our offense is starting from the one yard line again. So I mean, fortunately for us, our offense is used to starting on the one yard line. Uh, we started on the one yard line in the division round against the Eagles. That didn't, however, didn't really have a good outcome, and it looks like. It's not going to have a great outcome again as Andrew Luck nearly throws the ball away on second down to the, uh, back to the Minnesota Vikings. And somehow here on third and nine, he finds Paul Richardson on, a, on an out route, and Paul Richardson just barely gets enough for the first down. So anyways, after that, we come back and hand the ball off to Darius Geis. Arguably, I should have been doing that as soon as I was on the one-yard line. That's what I did uh, in the divisional round against the Eagles. And then on second and one, we burn him over the top with Emmanuel Hall, and it gets called back for holding. These are play, like plays like this you cannot have in the championship round. You can't have this in the conference championship game. You definitely can't have it in the Super Bowl. And I mean, oh, come on now, we just gotta play better overall as a team. That's points off the board, which really hurts. Third and ten, looking to get something going. Looks like he's uh, sending a blitz off the left. I motion my running back over. Andrew looks back. He has Emmanuel Hall, and he just can't hold on to the contact. I think that was Derwin James who ended up hitting him and pop it, uh, knocking the ball free. So we end up uh, going three and out, punting the ball away. And Philip Lindsay has Philip Lindsay back there to return, and Philip Lindsay has an amazing return there. Um, but anyways, like I said on defense, we got to stop Dalvin Cook. He's one of those threats. And come out, Dalvin Cook breaks a tackle. And um, Lars would be. He's not slow. I think he has 92 speed. Um, Dalvin Cook just beat him on the edge. Like I said, Dalvin Cook, to me, like, I don't know. He just When I was watching the games, it looked like they were just taking bad angles or his players were just slow. No, nah, this dude is actually like, really fast. Like, I don't know. I don't know what it is. He's just really fast. But anyways, our offense is back out here again for this, this next possession. Try to get things going on the ground a little bit. Try to ease uh, Andrew Luck back into the game. Try to take off, take some of the pressure off on him. Give him some short yardage situations to look for completions. And we just can't find anybody open on that second down. End up taking a huge sack by, I think that was Shaq Lawson who ended up getting them. Third and 17. Oh, Dangerous, dangerous throw, and I have no idea how the heck uh, Emmanuel Hall ended up holding on to that one, but I'm glad he did. Darius Geis, amazing catch, just couldn't keep, keep both feet in bounds. Come back on second and 10, try to run the ball with Darius Geis, and he just gets stopped up by that defensive line. Now we're in a situation where I didn't really want to, I'm trying to avoid third and long situations. We end up finding Emmanuel Hall again across the middle. He takes another shot, unable to hold on to this one, though. And again, for the second time, we ended, we ended up, we're forced to punt the ball away. So again, not like not what I'm expecting. Or this is what I'm expecting. I was just hoping that things would be a little bit better. Um, just it seems like our offense is picking up from where they left off in the divisional round. We just 
or we just can't get things going. Uh, really stagnant. We can't move the ball at all. Knew we were we're we're penalizing ourselves and hurting or taking points off the board for for ourselves and just really putting more pressure on the defense. And like I said about wep weapons with this uh, Minnesota Vikings team, it, it does it doesn't just end at Dalvin Cook. He has about three receivers with 95 speed. So defensive game plan was definitely we're not leaving anybody really one on one on anybody. We're playing a lot more zone than anything. Occasionally we may go to two man under, but cover one is off the board completely. I can tell you that right now. I don't think I ran any cover one. But anyways, it ended up burning us over top, 14 nothing. And again, our offense just can't get anything going. Third and long, another third and long situation like I've been trying to avoid. Uh, luckily here we end up um, completing it to Terry McLaurin. I got kind of scared with that. Cause I saw that slant late, and he got in that area, the vicinity of the uh, cornerback, but he was it was just out of his reach. But like I should have been doing from our first possession, where we got stopped up on the or uh, we got started out on the one yard line, I should have been giving the ball off to Darius Geis. Darius Geis, uh, so far in this playoffs, he's been that consistent player or has had a consistent performance for our offense he's the only thing consistent moving uh, for our offense um andrew luck just can't seem to get on the same page with his receivers and he just can't seem to stop throwing the ball to the other team uh here on defense we're looking for a stop we definitely need a stop um i'd really rather for uh, if anything i'd rather give up three points here and go down 10, but go down to go down two touchdowns would be really difficult uh, for to come back from. Third and nine, he's taking another deep shot again. Luckily, we have our corners. I think that we were in a cover four that time, a cover six. Either way, we had someone deep enough, and it was uh, over top of him, able to swat that ball away. So Brandon Cooks couldn't come up with the reception there, and we forced a punt. <laughs> Again, the situation that we want to be in. Our defense put us in a great situation to tie the game up now. We just need our offense to get things going, get on the same page, move this ball downfield, and put it in the end zone. Uh, first and ten, uh, our tight end Parkinson, uh, Parkinson ends up dropping the ball. Um, second and long, we end up going for Emmanuel Hall. Looked like he was on in one-on-one -on -one coverage, should have been able to make a play, dropped the ball. Third down, Andrew Luck just inaccurate on that one, and we punt the ball away again. So this is now, what, our second opportunity that we had to tie the game up or or to take the lead, I believe. No, yeah, just to tie the game up. Um, beautiful play right here on defense, but with uh, user, user and Hol uh, Cole Holcomb, I saw that uh, dig coming over the middle late. Baited it perfectly, timed it up perfectly, ended up getting an interception. And again, our defense has put us in an amazing position to do something with this score. Second and eight. Taking a deep shot for Emmanuel Hall. Luckily, that's not intercepted. And we're still in field goal range. So at least as long as we don't do anything stupid here, we'll at least come away with three. And that opportunity is now thrown away also by Andrew Luck. Um... This is really late. Late dig route. Um, threw it late. Saw it late. I should have just thrown the ball away and taken the three points that I had right there. But like in the divisional round, there was a hell of a lag on my kick on my kick meter in this one. Um, I don't know if you saw it, but even when I scored my first touchdown, I literally just barely made that field goal. It bounced off of the upright and in. So. Didn't really want to settle for too many field goals here in this game. Really rather get touchdowns and, yeah, at that point. But here we are getting down to the last couple seconds of the second quarter. He's trying to put more points on the board. He'd love a touchdown. We would really like to hold him to just a field goal or no points at all. It would be amazing if we can get a turnover. But second down, nobody open. Third and 13, I could have sworn he was going to have that possession catch. But luckily, his defense, or his uh, receiver ended up dropping that one. And we ended up holding him to a field goal. So down 17-7, to seven, getting ready to go into the second half. Feeling pretty good. We still have our three timeouts, so we're going to try to take a shot. And Andrew Luck just gets hit right when he throws. And luckily for me, uh, just my luck, it's intercepted by Derwin James. 
So it's probably it was pretty bad for me to even try testing Derwin James while he was lit up already. But I just felt that if that was a more accurate throw, I don't think Derwin James would have been able to get a hand on the ball. But anyways, we end up uh, holding them after the interception, going to the half, uh, second half, down by 10. And at this point, we need a touchdown on this drive. Um, our offense hasn't been moving the ball well at all, but just accidentally disconnected my mic. But like I was saying, but for us not to get any points, let alone, I, I, we need a touchdown, but even a field goal helps at this point. But it looks like we're about to get that touchdown right here with Emmanuel Hall. Takes it in for, was that, a 76-yard touchdown? Beautiful pit, uh, throw by Andrew Luck. Looks like he's finally getting online or, or getting things down packed. You can see on that field goal right there how everything was just really lagging. Um, but, yeah, huge offensive possession right there. We needed that touchdown. Like I said, we needed points. For us to go down uh, three touchdowns in the, third, in the second half, um, chances of, of us coming back look very slim at that point. Here, second and seven, we end up getting stuck on our defensive line and try to make something happen. And I just knew from the jump, from when I, when I got stuck on my damn D lineman, that it was about to it was about to be bad. Because I was going to go back there and use one of my safeties just to kind of make sure nothing gets beat deep over top. He caught me in adjustments, got sent down on uh, on Jonathan uh, Jer yeah Jonathan Allen and. Just try to make something happen. Just was unable, but it's all right because we come back on offense and Emmanuel Hall has double me activated. He just straight moss the uh, his uh, cornerback takes it in for uh, six, gets us those points right back. So now we're right back into a good, familiar, comfortable position of relying on our defense to come up with a stop. Now my defense they they tend to go above and beyond. I ask for a stop. Sometimes they just give me a stop and they'll get me those points. But right now, I literally, all I want is a stop. And we let Dalvin Cook get the edge. I went for the hit stick. I got greedy there with uh, my, my safety, Lars Woodby. I should have went for the conservative tackle and just played it safe. But I wanted to try to knock the ball free and get those points from uh, for myself. End up biting us in the butt in the end. First and 10 on the 30-yard line at this point. Oh, there's the hit I'm looking for, but he just has a horseshoe or a rabbit's foot or something somewhere because that should have been my fumble. Um, he took a straight hit, direct hit from Bobby Wagner. I got the fumble I needed, and just I had nobody in the vicinity, and then his lineman just picks it up and decides, oh, let me just go ahead and run three yards and pick up this first down or get, get us in an even better position, whatever. So, um, yeah. What, what was I saying? I don't know. I, I can't even remember what I was saying. Um, good pass breakup right there by Lars Woodby. Um, at this point, we're looking to hopefully hold them to. See, there's the swerve. Look at that. I, I mean, at that point, I'm looking to just hold them to a field goal. I think I, I thought I had everything locked up there. I thought I had the angle on them with Lars Woodby. And then he just straight swerves me with Dalvin Cook. Like, I'm not even there. So, I, what can I do? <laughs> what can I do? Anyways, back here on offense. Offense is moving the ball well so far. Now that we have our X-Factor receiver lit up with double me activated, you think that we start targeting him a little bit more. We end up finding McLaurin here on the outside on, on a nice little out route. We still had uh, Emmanuel Hall open across the middle of the field. I just don't like doing rat catches when I have double me. For I just feel like um, his catch in traffic or his ball carrying at that point just doesn't... Um, it's just not as secure as what it should be. He they drop a lot more rat catches than what they do when they're not lit up. In my experience, I should say. But anyways, second and twenty-one, uh, we took a sack there with Andrew Luck because we just couldn't find anybody open. Um, right here, should have hit square. I don't know why I didn't hit square. He was one on one. It, it, I got scared. It looked like it was double team. Uh, he was double team. I really did not want to lose his X factor at this point because. Right now, Emmanuel Hall is the offense for me. Third and 34, I could have targeted Emmanuel Hall again. He looked, he he was open. I'll say that. But in my defense, Terry McLaurin has 94, 94 speed. Yes, I know uh, Emmanuel Hall has 95. But McLaurin has 94 speed. He had his man burnt. I have no idea how that corner kept up. And how experience, uh, 
going back to what I said, I have no idea. I have no idea how Dalvin Cook held onto that ball because he just straight got smacked by a lit up Bobby Wagner. Um, I'm sorry, but when you hit, get hit and you leave, you leave your feet and you spin around in the air, I feel like that ball should, uh, should pop out. That's just in my experience, my my thinking. Just like right here, again, Bobby Wagner smacks the hell out of his quarterback, spins him around in the air, and he holds onto the ball still. So that's two fumbles I should have had, but EA didn't give it to me. It's all right. Um, third and twenty, takes he tries to take off again with uh, Dalvin Cook just to pick up anything, try to sneak a little run in on, on me, end up stopping it up, and. Believe it or not, we're still in pretty good position to win this game. Okay, I'm glad. Um, that, yeah, if that punt would have stopped on the one-yard line, I would have been pretty pissed off at this point. Um, but yeah, like we're still in, we still in position to win this game. We just can't seem to find anybody open. Like I have no idea what's going on. Just nobody's getting open. Uh, we're about to lose uh emmanuel hall's x factor so i put him on a jet sweep you know just to get him a quick touch so he'll, he'll be reset back to zero out of three problem is now he's tired he's not on the field i don't have any really go-to receivers everybody's locked up i take another sack it's think it's getting the crutch time situation right now at this point what i'm thinking or debating in my head is just get into field goal range kick the field goal and then rely on your divas for another stop at the right, right, actually, right here is where I started to, to think that. But I, I, as I thought, I got down to the 11. I was like, all right, let me try to take another shot to the end zone. Unfortunately, I didn't want to burn a timeout. I could have burned the timeout to get everybody back on the field, but I didn't want to burn that timeout because I might need it on my, for my defense. End up taking a sack. Third, uh, second and 18, uh, Emmanuel Hall's back on the field. He gets bumped a little bit on that in route, and it's intercepted. So at this point, I'm just like, oh, my God. Um, we just really need a miracle there. You, you see the lag happening right there as he just wiggles, wiggle, wiggle, and I'm lagging all the way. Um, Bobby Wagner comes through again. That's debatable. It could have been a fumble as well. Um, he's running backwards, about to hand the ball off, and he takes a hit from Bobby Wagner, who has enforcer. Um, and you all say the, that these abilities are OP. Yeah. Um, third and 12, we need to stop. It looks like we got the stop with Monte, and nope, we, he needed 12, he got 13. Got the first down, and the Minnesota Vikings are moving on to the Super Bowl. So, for us to lose 31-21, to 21, um, overall, I definitely think that my offense just choked. Um, a mix between the fact that my receivers were really starting to get tired, and uh, the fact that our defense wasn't making the plays that they were. Well, they were making the plays that they were in the division round. It just wasn't as cr uh, crucial and amazing. Uh, here's a look at some of the players that made uh, my players that made the pro ball team. Um, we definitely could have won that game. So for next year, next season, I definitely think that. We're coming back. We're we're going to be in the Super Bowl next next season. That's the whole goal of this thing. I'm trying to win the Super Bowl, but I have no doubt in my mind that we will get back to the conference game and we'll play the uh, Vikings again, probably more than likely, and it will be a different outcome this time. So, next video I put out will be about the off season. Um, till next time, if uh, drop a like, subscribe to the channel for more. I will catch you guys in the next next one.